Hey, how you guys doing? All right, so I just wanted to give you a, a market update. You know, it's uh, January 15th. Uh, to, it's my time. It's uh, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time uh, in Costa Mesa. And so I wanted to uh, just, you know, kind of touch base. I've, I've had some uh, questions come in as far as uh, what the market is going to do. And I kind of just want to give you guys a overview. You know, it's a, it's a Tuesday. It's the middle of the month. Uh, you know, it's January 15th. It's also we're at a point where we call this a pivot point, um, you know, in crypto. So the pivot point means that, you know, 4,000 is kind of like our, um, you know, it's kind of like our ceiling and 3,000 is kind of like, you know, our, our bottom. You know, right now we're at 3,500, 3,600. And really we had a big uh, drop down from 39 or, you know, from 4,000 to 3,400 or you know, 35. And, you know, and that puts us at a pivot point where either the bears or, or, or the bulls, you know, it's a 50-50. We either can go down another 500 to 3,000 or we can go back up to 4,000. But in the meantime, 3,700 is acting as resistance. 3,440, 3,450 is acting as uh, a support. And and right now we're at 35, you know, 80, 3,600 which is right in the middle of that. So there's 50, 50 all the way around. And, you know, the thing about trading is trade management. Sometimes you have to be patient and, you know, you can, you can make money up and down and take a small percentage up, small percentage down um, and, and really stretch yourself out. Or you can, you know, use a trade management technique where you basically minimize you try to minimize your loss and, and minimize your expected gain. So this way you're not, you're not leaning on one side and next. So, you know, times like this, we're in limbo. And, you know, in January, we I had uh, sent out a report in the beginning of the month. And I said the best times to trade was four, eight, four through eight, because those times were bullish. This time right now, you know, it can go either way. They can shoot up or it can shoot down. And so the whole the whole purpose is, um, you know, you see shorts getting in right now because they're thinking that, hey, this is going to go down. You have guys going in long. They think it's going to go up. No one really knows for sure. And, and when that when that's the case, you know, it's best to let the market dictate what it's going to do. And and so right now I'm using a barometer. Right. I know thirty seven hundred is our, our our support level. Uh, I mean, is the resistance. And I know thirty four hundred is support. So, you know, right now we're at thirty five, eighty, thirty six hundred. And I'm looking to basically minimize the the amount of positions I'm in. Uh, you know, whatever's going up, you can try to day trade that or, you know, um, you know, if the market breaks back past 3,700, I'll hop in there and I'll go, you know, full in over 3,700 and, you know, play along to the upside. If the market drops below 3,550, uh, 3,540, I'll exit and, you know, I'll, I'll be patient and allow it to get down lower. So I want to buy as close as possible to 3,200, 3,100. Or I'll buy closer to 37, uh, 37, 3800 on for the upside. But right here is, you know, you have you have a chance of, you know, you know, going down another three or four hundred, or you have a chance of going up. But you can be sure uh, when it does go up by letting it break through a a resistance level. So that's kind of how you know we're going to play it and play it smart. Um, you know, I'm looking at the coin market cap. So right now I have 124 billion being the uh, that's kind of the resistance. And, you know, 122 is the support. So this way it minimizes the, the amount of, uh, you know, it's going to help us make a decision. If the market drops under 122 billion, I'm going to majority cash or USDT. If the market goes above 124 billion, which is a you know two billion range, then I'll get in and go long. And that's what you want to do today. And, and, you know, right now, if you're looking to trade and make a trade, you know, sometimes the best trade is no trade. So just sit still and, you know, realize that 3580, 3640 has been the range for the last 24 hours. Cool. Update. I'll see you guys online.